Regional Senator Express News. Uh, you said you no longer support um, the false climate solutions like carbon capture and sequestration. Um, so you think this is something your members can get behind? There have been lots of um, lots of members of the chamber are, have been touting clean coal as one of the main solutions that we need for climate change. So do you think um, your members can stand behind that? We do feel that um, the subsidies for clean coal that have been uh, given by this administration are completely misplaced. And if the same amount were applied to solid, uh, ingenious solar technologies that we already have, we would see a dramatic improvement over the long term and the short term, in fact. And that clean coal is, is a, a technology that has not only not been proven, it basically doesn't exist. And it's, it's just obvious we have to put uh, our money, it's a sane business decision, we have to put our money where, uh, where the proof is. Okay, this is, uh, I'm Eric Wolschlegel, I'm with the U.S. Chamber of Commerce. Um, this is not an official U.S. Chamber of Commerce event. Um, so, I don't know what pretenses you're here. I know some of you uh, in the press world, but this is a fraudulent press activity and a stunt. Who are you, so, really, sir? Do you have any questions? You're welcome to direct them to me um, with the U.S. Chamber of Commerce. Who are you really, sir? And do you have a business card? Are you with the U.S. Chamber? I, I do. We can discuss afterwards. Okay. Can but I see your business card? Can I see yours? Are you here representing the U.S. Chamber of Commerce? Yes, I am. Okay, well, I work there, and you do not look familiar to me at all. Could I see your business Is this card? A stunt? Could I see your business Is this card? A stunt? Are you interrupting a president? Yes, I am. And, uh, this guy does not represent the U.S. Chamber of Commerce. Can we finish the Okay. No. This is not an official Chamber of Commerce. This is not. Uh, I'm on deadline. Yeah, got it. So they're misrepresenting the U.S. Chamber of Commerce. Okay. Sir, if, you so if anyone has any questions and wants to talk to the real Chamber of Commerce, they can direct. You can direct your questions to me. So are you an actor? If, what, what's your you, position? If you would like to have a, a press conference, you can have your own press conference, what is your, sir. What is your position? But you can't come in here and barge in and interrupt our press what, conference. What is your position? I don't know what, uh, sorry? What is your position at the Chamber of Commerce? I just spoke my position. What about working? What is your, what is your title, and your official title at the U.S. Chamber I'm of Commerce? I'm the assistant to Mr. Donahue. Okay. okay. This guy is a fraud. He's lying. Um, this is, you know, a stunt that I've never seen before. How do we know this is the question. stunt. So, does this mean that the Chamber of Commerce will not endorse, it is not acknowledging the climate change? Whatever this gentleman here said to you today is irrelevant. It's not factual. This is a fraudulent press conference, okay? He's misrepresenting the U.S. Chamber of Commerce. So what is the, the position then, it is not changed, that it is going to continue to be that there is no climate change, is that correct? I'm here to tell you that this is not a formal press right. conference by the U.S. Chamber of Commerce. Yes, you, I have we a did, we did hold a, a press conference last week with, our, with President Donahue of the U.S. Chamber of Commerce. Right. If you'd you like to we, get we our we position, for no, you. I'm with the U.S. Chamber of Commerce. Do you, do you, do you have, have a, you have a yeah, yeah, I do. So if you'd like to yes. actually talk to the legitimate Chamber of Commerce, I've got my business cards outside. This gentleman, I will assure you, does not have any business cards, and he's not legitimate. So, sir, is the position of the Chamber of Commerce then that there is no, that climate change does not exist? So, actually, is that this, this, this sign-in sheet here, I'm sorry, excuse me, sir. We have, we have rented this room. Yes. You're going to have to Ill refund us. Fraudulently. Also, fraudulently. You know excuse me? Under, fault, under fraudulent. It's sir, fraud. It's illegal. Sir, what I don't know doing, who you are. What you're doing is illegal. You're going to have to is refund us. This is very embarrassing for you. Okay. Anyone else want my business card? Yes. Yes. Would Come you support climate legislation? Thank you. There you are. Thank you. There you are. Thanks. Who are you? I'm Kate Shepard. With? Mother Jones. There you are. Yeah. Thanks. Um, oh, Eric, can, can, yeah. can we? Yeah. Who are you with? I'm with the E&E Daily. Sorry? E and e Daily. Yes, got it. I'm Eric Walsh. I'm Daniel Sarah for the assistant so, to uh, so President Sonny. Yeah. 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 Is there I'm any floor like of this. my ID you have? Um, let's see, do you have my ID? No, it's, it's with our interns. We don't bring it with us. Yeah, we, we kind of leave it wherever we... Sir, who are you really? I actually cover the chamber. I know you don't work for the chamber. Who, who are you? Uh, well, who am I really? Yes. What are you doing here? What is this event about? 
Um, this event is about what the, the only sane thing for the U.S. Chamber of Commerce to do, obviously. There is no way that uh, a government body or a body with any uh, public responsibility can have the stance that the Chamber has had until now. Um, the, the statements of late that the Chamber has made in regard to uh, climate science are frankly embarrassing for those of us who truly represent it and um, unacceptable. And it's very obviously time for a change. Right, but you came in here this morning saying you're with the, with the Chamber of Commerce and you're not. Who are you? Well, we, we represent, I represent the, uh, the position that the Chamber of Commerce must take and the inevitable position that, um, that it must take.